Stanford back in the AP poll for the first time since the end of the 2001 season. Cardinal bowl eligible again this year. And the last time they were bowl eligible, that 2001 season. Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers. The Cardinal on the road at the LA Coliseum to take on the Trojans. Don't forget, they pulled off the huge upset last time they were there two years ago. CBS Sports' and Spencer Tillman joins us to break this down. And Spence, all right, people around the country, they know about Stanford now. This is a very good football team. They hung 51 on Oregon last week. But can that running style of play with Toby Gerhardt, second in the nation, can that work against USC? Well, I think it probably can work against USC. If you were to take a snapshot of their last couple of weeks, Jason, they've been porous on the defensive side of the ball. We saw what Oregon was able to do uh, to them, and it's, it's been impressive to watch and a little bit head-scratching from the standpoint of USC and their vaunted uh, history as a defensive stop unit that really is impenetrable. So it's been fun to watch them to work, but I think this power running attack with Tony Gerhardt, their outstanding power runner, back-to-back 1,000-yard -back rushing season so far, uh, is impressive. I mean, he's the best power runner in the nation right now, Jason, and uh, I don't think anybody can stop him. Yeah, uh, you, you talked about USC's defense. Last week, though, it got back on track, Spence. Uh, they only gave up nine points to Arizona State. But was that yeah. because of the lack of firepower by ASU or yeah. because USC played better? Yeah, you hit it right on the head. I mean, ASU has kind of a, a backs by committee arrangement, and they don't have one guy that's going to stand out and control the ground. So they, they kind of a, was a potpourri of different types of plays that they really threw uh, out there to get some success. It was not one guy dominating on the ground. So you got to consider the defense there. What about USC's offense, Spence? Because they struggled again last week. They, they struggled at Oregon two weeks ago. Last week, uh, 250 yards of offense against Arizona State here. What, what's going wrong right now for Troy? Well, offensively, you know, you would think that they would be much better than they have. I mean, their freshman quarterback, Mike Barkley, has done a tremendous job on the road, winning some signature games, some very impressive performances. But 112 yards passing last week was not going to get it done for them. We know that they are going to establish their run game first to set up their pass. But when that run game is working, he's got to deliver on the passing end of it. And since they've been in these kind of battles, scoring battles of late, i.e. what happened to them in Oregon, uh, they need to be able to score, and that means they need to get the ball up the field via the pass. And if he can't do that, they're in big time trouble offensively. To answer your question, I don't know exactly what's wrong with them. I can point to execution <laughs> being an issue, but the fact that they're facing strong defense is also is a problem as well. Well, last week's defense much better than this week's defense because Stanford, yeah. yes, it scored 51, but it also gave up 42. Uh, so that's yeah. certainly something that USC could look to take advantage of. Barkley completed just seven passes last week, which is mm -hmm. something that uh, you, you don't expect out of that guy, which who we saw play so well earlier this season. Spence, I ask you because, you know, USC, we've talked about all year, it's still the brand name, it, they're still great, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. Are they that great? In your mind, if they don't lose out because they only have two losses, are they still a BCS team? Listen, we, we beat this like a dead horse. Again, you cannot lose the type of talent that they you lose last year with the likes of Brian Cushing, who's starting for the Texans now. You got Ray Maluga. We can go down the litany and, and list those great defensive players that they lost. They're, they can't be better, uh, but no one expects them to be as bad as they have been, particularly during the back half of the season when they typically historically step up, particularly on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, it's certainly been an issue. It was at Oregon, it was against Oregon State, and it was against Notre Dame in the fourth quarter. Spence, who wins this one? Because I think Stanford, it's starting to, they're starting to get some supporters here. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go with uh, what we may considered a mild upset. I'm going with Stanford in this one. Are you? Uh, the brand Good name. For you. Yeah, I'm going with Stanford in this one because Gerhard really impressed me. I think they can control the clock. They're going to be primed for an upset. Can he get 200 yards again? Can he break yeah, another school we'll record? <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. He's only about 75 yards away from passing Brad Muster for a second on the school's all-time list. Spencer T., thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. All right, Jason, we'll see you. All right, folks, 3.30 p.m. Eastern. That's the kick between USC and Stanford. We'll see if the Cardinal can pull a second straight upset at USC. For more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.